absolutely. So our roster obviously um, has has had some change. Uh, last season, we graduated five seniors, and so there was a lot of um, obviously experience in terms of collegiate basketball. Um, you know, with that loss, and so we've returned to. Um, Ayanna Williams, who is, is definitely a significant impact player for us, uh, she's back, and, and so that'll be great for, for establishing kind of that return to play in, in terms of what our principles were last year and, and our foundation and, and progressing the program forward. Um, also back is uh, Yoli Florido, whose uh, season, you know, she had a, a pretty significant injury, so last year we were unable to kind of see her growth, and so we're excited for, for her comeback. Um, and the other thing that we're really excited about is essentially the 11 newcomers. And so you're looking at 11 freshmen um, that are able to kind of come in and, and recognize where the program has been, um, be able to significantly impact it and, and progress it forward. Um, right now, in terms of our practices and, and our early scrimmages, we, we've been seeing um, kind of a dominance in terms of uh, Araya Douglas uh, with her scoring ability and um, also just, uh, you know, prowess in terms of wanting to be competitive and wanting to, to progress this program forward. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of inside presence with Nishe Weaver, um, so we, we look forward to, to their growth. But what's really exciting is that, um, you know, the other nine freshmen, um, and we can sit here and, and name them each and, and kind of talk about what they're already bringing to the program, but they're all kind of on this continuum um, of, of growth and progression. And um, daily we see, you know, someone it, it click and then and progress. And when we talk about it clicking, we're talking about overall team concepts. Each one was bringing um, a talent to the program for sure. Um, it's why they're here um, and it's why they've uh, signed on to the task of, of, of returning the program um, in terms of competitive excellence. So what we're looking for overall for the season is definitely um, uh, the pursuance of that competitive excellence and what that means is establishing an identity of what Alderson Broadus women's basketball um, is to be now and what it's to be in the future um, as well as just you know uh, overall team cohesiveness um, that we're in one mind one accord and so that's what we're pursuing and so some of my background and you know essentially my pedigree is is always been controlling the controllables and and how we establish that um, is definitely in terms of measurement um, from a stat perspective is um, how we pursue uh, the free throw line, uh, you know, what our percentage is there, um, as well as uh, taking care of the ball. Uh, that's another controllable for us. And, and last season, something we really struggled with, um, for sure, in terms of our, our decision, uh, decision making and those kind of things. And so we want to see um, definite improvements there. Free throw wise, you know, I, you know, we led the Mountain East last year and it's something that I think that we'll still do. Um, it's important for us. Um, the other thing in terms of, of turnovers, we averaged about 27 turnovers, which is sickly. Um, and so not something that we are uh, pursuing in this year's team, um, despite being so young, right? Um, and the other area is how we pursue uh, the boards. And so we are consistent um, in how we we establish those things in practice. And um, and so that is a, is a great way statistically for us to measure our growth and kind of what we're about. Um, the other area, of course, is, uh, again, and I'll bring it up, it, it's competitive excellence, right? And so how we define that um, is our adherence to defensive concepts, um, how we apply those, you know, uh, in our team setting, in our team dynamic, and being consistent, consistently um, in our team uh, defensive concepts, as well as attention to details. And so, you know, this is huge when you're talking about a young team. I mean, it's huge in, in any facet. Uh, with programs, but definitely with a young team that if they get these things down and they recognize how we stretch matters, right? Uh, how unified we are um, and, and how focused we are in, in our drills, um, how how we pursue anything and how we um, step on the court and, and just present ourselves matters um, to the overall concept of being able to be competitive and ultimately the ability to win and, and, and beyond that to be successful beyond the playing court. And so um, those are areas that we want to be great in. Um, and the other thing is that we're just, we're steadfast in that, that we're hungry and pursuing that, that a win is great. Um, but then there's statistics in terms of um, our defensive concepts, how we shot from the free throw line, you know, how we shared the ball, move the ball. Um, did we stay um, within our offensive sets? Those kind of things measure where we're going. And it's just, it's very exciting um, in terms of um, coaching right now this group because 
again, daily we're seeing this growth and, and um, consistency or just where we're at, we're able to kind of check in. So that's kind of where we see those things in terms of our growth and our goals, uh, long-winded answer, I guess, but kind of well-rounded. It's how we're pursuing competitive excellence and how we measure up to what's important to this team um, for now and for the future. Two of our, our conference opponents um, are ranked in the top 25 in, in Glenville State as well as in Charleston. Um, with key returners obviously coming back and both programs kind of being very um, traditionally competitive um, all in this league as well as um, very specific styles. So one of the big things is um, for our team to recognize um, what our style is and how that measures up against other styles in the league. And I would say that our league, um, it's fun in terms of coaching because we do have a wide variety. We're very diverse in style of play. And so it's great because it's another one of those things that kind of measures where our program is in our adherence to defensive concepts as well as offensive construct. And so that's the challenge, right? But it all kind of meshes together in terms of what the season is to be for us um, based on what the Mountain East kind of provides um, in our conference and then as well as what the impact it's making in, in the nation uh, nationally. So then there's that as well as, um, you know, another thing that I think about is, is our February, the last month. Um, kind of where we measure up in that. And so uh, we play on the road um, the majority of the month of February. So how we sprint into um, conference tournament um, is, is going to be challenging for essentially what is a young team. But again, I'm so excited for this experience for them. Um, it's another reason. I mean, every one of our, our um, out of conference games is, is played on the road. Every one of our scrimmages has been on the road because I recognize what February was going to mean for this team. And so um, I look forward to the challenge and, and looking forward to how our team responds and the growth that we're just going to see, um, you know, from today um, in the month of November, November 2nd. So, you know, where we're at in March um, is going to be dramatically different and um, very special uh, to a young group of players who are able to, to take that experience and um, become essentially seniors by February. You know, that's what we're, we're looking for. We're actually looking for them to be seniors, right, tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the, the quality of reps in our practice um, as well as how we how we respond to those those details.